Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be guinea pig don'ts. Today's video is also a collaboration with For the Love of Animals, and they're doing guinea pig do's. So make sure you check out their video and subscribe to their channel. Don't chase your guinea pig around the cage. This can be very stressful for the guinea pig and you might end up hurting them. A guinea pig's heart beats an average of 240 to 250 beats per minute. Can you just imagine two times the amount that the guinea pig's heart beats? Heart problems are pretty common in guinea pigs. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't realize their guinea pig is sick until the problem is serious and hard to treat. Lastly, a rapid heartbeat could be a sign that the heart is working harder than usual to pump enough blood or oxygen through the body. Other signs of heart disease include difficulty or fast breathing, respiratory infections that seem to be coming back despite treatment, excessive salivation, and sleeping too much. Don't ignore illnesses in guinea pigs. Guinea pigs, like other small animals, like to hide their illnesses. This makes it more complicated for the human to recognize that the guinea pig is sick, although some guinea pigs will show signs as early as the first day. So, you should never ignore any illness in guinea pigs because some illnesses in guinea pigs can be very fatal within a week. So again, if you notice your guinea pig sick, please contact your vet immediately and set up an appointment. Don't give your guinea pigs the wrong diet. Guinea pigs are herbivores, which means they only eat plants, fruits, and vegetables. Giving a guinea pig seeds or nuts or any unsafe human products can make your guinea pig really sick or even lead them to death. Make sure you're researching about a guinea pig's diet before you go and get them. Don't give them a small cage. Guinea pigs might seem small, but they are super energetic animals. One guinea pig requires at least 7.5 square feet of floor space. Two guinea pigs require at least 10 square feet of floor space. But again, bigger is always better, as sometimes this prevents fighting and even dominance in guinea pigs, as there are more places to hide and get away from the guinea pig that they don't want to be near at that moment. Lastly, don't only have one guinea pig. I can't tell you how important it is for you to have more than one guinea pig as they are super social animals and they thrive as a herd in the wild and as domesticated guinea pigs. They still need a partner. A human cannot replace another guinea pig as we don't speak the same language. So that's it for my video. Make sure you like my video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check out For the Life of Animals video and channel. And now I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!